Those who love others must surely love them. Those who serve others must surely serve others. Those who hate others must surely hate them. Those who harm others must surely harm them. Those who cannot adhere to righteousness. Those who cannot distinguish between right and wrong. Those who cannot distinguish between right and wrong are not worthy of playing with others. It is not that they lack a place of comfort, but they lack a place of comfort in me. And it is not that they lack sufficient wealth, but they lack a place of contentment in me. If you can't stabilize the fundamentals, don't try to deal with peripheral things. Don't try to make friends with people around you. Don't try to find friends from afar. And if your relatives don't follow you, don't try to make friends with people outside. And in dealing with this, spicy and indecisive, don't waste too much work. Don't be knowledgeable when you don't understand a single thing. If everyone loves each other, the strong don't suppress the weak. The rich don't trample on the poor. The back doesn't pressure the heavens. The disciple doesn't lie to her. To avoid robbery and enmity in the world, you have to love the other person. The art of human relationship. First, there is a time and a place. A wise man doesn't use his abilities carelessly. A smarty pants person can show his shallow tricks at any time and create loopholes. A smart person knows when and where to use his talents. It's easy to get into trouble if you act recklessly. Secondly, don't get involved in flattery. It's foolish to make others resent you for something you don't mean. Tacting according to Shang Fei's mood is important. However, in a relationship with a trustworthy person, you need to pay attention to this. If you know your friend's faults, and don't tell him you're betraying your friend's duty. If there's a man who blames and chastises his friend with all his heart, he's the teacher of life and a true friend. Third, be humble and open-minded. The Yangtze's and Yellow River have lost many great rivers due to the small flow of water. It is said that this willingness to accept the smallest criticism of others is the fastest way to absorb the best of others and move forward. Humility is the most important attitude in life. No matter how good Idoi is, he's nothing compared to this world. You must always keep a low stance. Fourth, don't make meaningless arguments. When there's an argument, everyone will be stubborn. If you want to have an argument with your opponent, consider two things. The fact that an argument is meaningless, even if you win, and that you got it by trampling on your opponent's ego. Where it's full, nothing new can be contained. Too much self-consciousness is the beginning of many troubles. If you overfill yourself with yourself, you will get tired and become sensitive to yourself and others. If you're full of yourself, there's no room for others to enter. 
he needs to leave some space for himself at all times. 6. Avoid the me. A wise man may not be friends with the me, but he must deal with the me and avoid the me. The shepherd divided the men into great men and small men, worry of the dangers of the little man. I must avoid the people around me instead of slandering them. If I want to make enemies, I'm more dangerous than a gentleman. Unlike a gentleman, I'll use my pettiness to torment others throughout my life. Seventh, don't boast. It's a good attitude to seek excellence. But if you ignore the tutoring around you, it loses all meaning. There are many small people in this world. If you don't keep a low profile, you will inevitably be envied. Even a small number can't fathom the danger. We need to conceal and protect ourselves from becoming the target of signs attack. Since ancient times, wisdom has been known to hide its light and show its stupidity. There are three ways to speak. If you think you're saying something, if you guess you're saying something, if you think you're saying it when you're doing it, you're wondering if there's any contradiction between what you're saying and what the old saint said or did. And if it doesn't contradict that, you're saying it out loud. Speculating means thinking about how the person listening to you would feel if you said something like this. When you say it, you say it after thinking about how you're going to do it for the country and the situation of the people and creating a prospect. A gentleman shows integrity when he is poor, righteousness when he is rich, love, when he is cold and sorrow when he is dead. A man must always have just the right amount of looseness. It's like pulling your anger tight and never letting it go. In that case, the bow is useless. It unites the arguments of the people of the world into one. This is the bowstring of the T that governs the nation. If you want to have more people who can shoot a country's arrow and drive a cart, you must enrich them and treat them with respect. Only then will you have more people who can shoot a country's fire and drive a cart. A great man is hard to sway, but if you make him your subject, he will be a decree to make you proud. Beauty never comes out the door, but I want people to meet her. It's better to grow poetry than to make a name for yourself. Doing righteousness is not to avoid being slandered by others as a result of this, or to gain some kind of honor. It's to do what is natural for a human being to do. If you know how the people feel, the country will be ruled. If you don't know how the people feel, the country will be in chaos. Children love themselves, don't love their fathers, and do their own self-interests at the expense of their fathers. In this way, forgetting to love each other is the root cause of the disarray of the family. Listening to the logic of a bunch of fools instead of listening to the good words is like abandoning the spell and picking up joy's sake. It's hard work but not profitable. 
a wise man takes on the hard work himself and lets others do the easy work. On the contrary, most people let themselves do the easy work and others do the hard work. The best thing is not to fail, but the next step is to fail and get something out of it. A man of the world who knows the small, but not the big. If the route is unclear, the flow at the end can't be clear. Without the root love of action, you're doomed. You love each other. You benefit each other. What you see is what you see in your body. When it comes to politics, following the rules of heaven is the best way to do it. God is fair. He nourishes everything. If we take this God's law as the law of politics, there won't be any problem. If you hit another country with a swim bladder, it's not considered wrong. Instead, it's called honor and justice. This is injustice having dohi. Sit in a high position and hold a fire in a ruined society is not something that a man should be happy about. The first to be pumped dry is the spring that springs to life. The first to be cut is the tallest tree. When all things are useful, your body is ruined by your own strengths. In the past, the great tigers were fierce and chaotic. But the Silver Dynasty inherited the situation and ruled a disorganized country well. The ruler of the Yin Dynasty, Lord Zhou, ruled over the country with violence and caused chaos. However, the ruler of the Zhao Dynasty, Lord Mu, took over and did a great job ruling the country. No matter how disorganized it is, as long as the people behind it work hard, they can make up for it. The world's joy and your father are not destined to be together. A wise man should not look at his reflection in water, but rather look at a person as a mirror and reflect on himself. Your reflection in the water can only be seen from the outside. But if you use people as your mirror, you can judge well what you're doing wrong. In politics, there are many ways to crush the weak and strengthen the strong. If you take even more from cars that are scarce like this, and do something that gives more to those who have more. That's the kind of country that's doomed. In order to dye cloth, they are dipped in red or blue paints. People change according to what they encounter for the first time. You must choose the environment you live in and choose the place you will live for the third time. Those who cause trouble for the people are those who cause trouble for the world. If the righteous are at the top, the world will be ruled well and the people will benefit greatly. Never has there been an example of a country being properly preserved by ignoring a scholar who was made to look for traction I must find out why it happened and the root of it in order to govern it well. You can't even protect the fortress, walls or moats, but you can't decorate the palace and defend the country. That's chaos. 
In times of emergency, you're isolated and have no one to rely on. That's the second stage. You waste the people's power needlessly and reward the incompetent. You spend all the country's wealth entertaining guests. That's the third stage. The officials only do their best to protect their positions. The king accepts the law as he pleases. And the officials dare not disobey because they are afraid of the king. That's the fourth Huanra. The king thinks he's divine and wise. So he doesn't ask about politics and he doesn't know how to be wary of the country. That's the fifth choice. The people he trusts aren't loyal. And he doesn't trust those who are loyal. That's the sixth choice. There are new models stored, but the people are hungry and incompetent. Ministers serve the king, don't rejoice when they reward the people. And don't pose a threat even when they punish them. That's the seventh choice. If these seven chores exist, that country will surely fall. It is better to see with two eyes than one. And it is better to hear with two ears than to hear with one. To see and hear the truth of the situation of all. The people in the world is to be the swordsman who rules the country. If you kill one person, it's called a swing bladder. If you kill 10 people, you'll be guilty of killing 10 people. If you kill 10 people, your beak will be 100 times bigger. And you'll be guilty of killing someone. But now, he's trying to commit an injustice by attacking another country on a large scale. And he doesn't know that he's wrong. The current nobleman doesn't know how to govern, how to conduct himself, or how big or small the matter is. You know the small things, but not the big ones. This is the root of the corruption of the body and of the nation. Officials should put their former jobs in good positions. It's not good for a particular person to remain in a noble position for a long time. The people should be able to become servants and prosper. It's not good politics to have the same person in a low position all the time. Man's actions and the sword that governs. The state must be decided by God. God is fair. This is also the law of the toe. Out of 100 doors, if only one door is closed and the other door is open, it cannot be used as a defense against thieves. He who does not have goodness at the center of his mind does not have a name. He who does not comply with his words does not stand as a retainer. Fame cannot be achieved by any means. Honor cannot be achieved by craft. A gentleman is a practitioner. If he taps, the sound echoes. If he doesn't tap, the sound doesn't echo. If a gentleman doesn't know, he answers. If he doesn't ask, he doesn't tell. A friend said to Muxa, there is no one in the world who is doing righteousness. And you alone are doing righteousness by tormenting yourself. So you should stop doing righteousness. The horse shepherd said, If a man has ten children, 
and one is a farmer, and the other nine are sitting at home. Then the one who is a farmer should work even harder because there are many who eat and few who farm. But now there is no one doing the righteousness of the world. So you should rightly encourage me to do the righteousness. Why are you stopping me? They say if you steal a dog, you're invincible. And yet, if you steal a country, you're righteous. A good bow is hard to pull. A good horse is hard to ride. A benevolent king does not love a math without credit. A benevolent father does not love a child without benefit.